I look, bro, as a man, you need to understand that your sexual energy is your greatest asset. Let me say that again. As a man, you need to understand that your sexual energy is your greatest asset. Now, you might be wondering, what the hell do you mean by that? How is my sexual energy my greatest asset? Is it in my money? Is it in my muscles? Is it in my time? Well, hold up, man, because I'm about to break this bitch down real quick like a brick for y'all. Now, what I'm referring to when it comes to your sexual energy is that drive to want to procreate because each and every single one of us has this preset to this human body that we've been given. It's a biological uh, system that's already placed within our overall experience of life. Each and every single one of us has this. It's your libido. A lot of people will correlate libido to lust, but in reality, what we're trying to do is leverage lust and leverage libido to our advantage because this sexual drive, this sexual want almost to want to go and procreate is a part of human experience, is part of this life in totality. But a lot of people will not realize that this same drive can be used towards other outlets in life. And this is what the practice of semen retention is all about. This is what it's teaching you through self-control and through self-mastery, you become self-empowered. Let me say that again. Through self-control and through self-mastery, you become self-empowered. And this is realizing that, amen, these urges, amen, these sexual thoughts, amen, these, uh, this drive to want to go and procreate can be funneled towards other outlets in life, can be funneled towards my career, can be funneled towards my business, can be funneled towards building up my body, can be funneled towards building up my family. All that good stuff, man. Yet, most people out there don't realize how powerful an asset this is and they'll waste it. They won't waste their money, but they'll waste their sexual energy. Money at the end of the day is energy. So why would you treat it differently? This is a currency that you really need to uh, put into your mind and correlate with its worth. It has the power to create a whole ass another human being. It created you, it created me, it created everything else around you. The trees, the, the birds, the animals, this cosmic force, the sexual energy force is much more powerful than you think. And when you're able to realize that and let that concept marinate in your mind, you're gonna be able to uh, perceive it differently and approach it differently. And when you approach it differently, you're going to start uh, applying that asset towards things that are going to actually progress you in life. You're not going to apply it towards just a couple seconds of pleasure, whether that's through porn, whether that's through hookup culture and all that stuff. You're going to start putting it towards actually progressing in all aspects of life, in all facets of life. Whether that's mentally, physically, spiritually, socially, financially, all that stuff, man. This energy has the power to create whatever it is up in your internal world and bring it out and manifest it out towards the external world, the physical plane. Bringing things from the spiritual material plane over into the physical plane. So why would you waste it? Why would you waste it on a couple of seconds of pleasure? Why would you waste it on just chasing this temporary high that will make you fulfilled but might relieve some stress for the time being? But at the end of the day, you know for a fact the only thing that will make you fulfilled the only thing that will make you feel whole and holy is by achieving your purpose, is by progressing in life, is by actually becoming the person that you were brought here to be, becoming the highest version of yourself. And you can't do that if you're always expending this energy towards nonsense. This is what we're trying to focus on when it comes to sexual transmutation. Because just doing semen retention to 100 days, 90 days, 365 days is great. It's a part of the process, but it isn't the end goal. Remember, semen retention is a tool to help you achieve your goals. It isn't the end all be all. So don't think that, okay, man, if I hit 100 days on semen retention, my whole life will change for the better. Yes, it might change for the better, but that's just the surface level. You're only scratching the surface. You have so much more to grow and expand upon. And when you realize that and you start, uh, using this sexual energy as an asset rather than an enemy, you're gonna be able to approach life at a whole different level. Let me say that again. The way you approach, the, the way you view your sexual energy, either as an ally or an enemy, will really dictate how you succeed in life, your level of success in life. 
and each and every one of us has different uh, connotations of success. Maybe that's becoming a millionaire for you. Maybe that's becoming uh, a person with X amount of people in their family. Maybe that's being a digital nomad. It doesn't matter what that version of success is for you. It can help you achieve that because that energy will always be looking to express itself in some way, shape or form. And when you start off with the first plane of consciousness, that is survival. Just being able to survive. Your lowest chakra is all about being able to survive. Once you have your food, you have your shelter, you have your water, you move on to the next plane of consciousness, where, where your mind is being directed towards, and that is procreation. Yet a lot of people let that energy stay stuck in that level, never raise up to the next levels, because they're always dispelling it. They're all, they have like a leak, basically a leak, an energy leak. It only goes from the first level to the second level, and then it just leaks and goes back down. It raises back up, goes back down, because you're expending it in that lower region, in that those lower acts. And I'm not saying procreation is a lower act, but nine times out of ten, let's be honest with you, let's be honest with ourselves. We're not procreating when we're doing this act. It's either to uh, watch and porn, or it's just hookup culture with some other person that we're kind of using their body to masturbate. Yes, maybe you might have a wife, you have a girlfriend later on down the line, that is fine, but you can still use that energy to build yourself up as a man, to build yourself up to the peak of your potential by raising up to the next level, next level, and that is willpower. Willpower is about achieving things in life. Then it goes on to the next level. That is cosmic love. How can I bring value to the world? Then you go into the next level, creativity. Next level, intuition. How do I get all these innovative ideas plugged in from the infinite intelligence? Then the next level, self-realization. I'm fully fulfilled within my purpose. This is what this energy can uh, achieve for you. If you view it as an asset rather than just some kind of a hobby. Oh yeah, man, I'm just gonna use my sexual energy to get a little bit of a uh, sensory pleasure in my life. Yes, you can do that, but that's just that's just essentially tapping into the lowest version of it. That's just tapping into the base level of what it can actually accomplish. There's so much more to your sexual energy that you don't understand until you actually start cultivating this energy properly through the practices we discuss within the full seam retention guide that you guys can go check out on the main channel. Just type in how to succeed on seam retention. Go look at the main channel, Full Light of Fitness. It's got all the things that you need, as well as a link to a free copy of the Art of Retention ebook that goes much more in depth, much more in detail to all the practices you need to put in place to actually use your sexual energy as an asset, to actually leverage lust and libido to your advantage. Because without those practices in place, you're not gonna be able to go on this journey. You're not gonna be able to actually progress on this path. It's gonna be too much for you. Like we talked about before in this channel, you're going to be sexually repressing that energy rather than sexually transmutating that energy. Let me say that again. You're going to be sexually repressing your energy rather than sexually transmutating your energy without those proper practices that you need to instill within your life. So go check out all that stuff, man. There's also a full audio version of the ebook on the main channel. Just go on the playlist section, look up the Art of Retention ebook audio, audio series. You can plug it in while you're walking. You can go and uh, just have it on while you're working out, whatever it is, man. Just get that information in your head. It's not from just me. Yes, I might be a little bit ahead of you on this practice, but I've also brought in ancient practices, ancient wisdom from people all the way back in the past times who understood the power of this practice, who've systemized it, and I'm just bringing it back into a practical sense for the modern man to awaken that untapped potential that he, that he has within himself that's lying dormant within that sexual energy. So all that stuff there for you, bro, if you want to tap in and get uh, some more other services, there is uh, one-on-one consultations I'm doing. Uh, you can book a call right there within the link post and pin comment of this video. Private Patreon community, get access to exclusive videos, in-depth uh, cult lectures, full guides, monthly masterminds, all that good stuff, as well as personal coaching. All those links posted in the pin comment of this video. But Going back to what we're talking about when it comes to your sexual energy being an asset, you gotta realize that this same drive has brought men to do miraculous, marvelous feats throughout human history. That same drive, and if you've read the book, 
the uh, Think and Grow Rich, you'll understand in that one section, I think it's chapter 16 or chapter 12, of the, uh, the Art of Sexual uh, Transmutation, something like that, speaking on how this same energy can you bring you wealth, can bring you riches, can bring you all these types of material things that you want, even though that shouldn't be your main pursuits. It should be becoming the best version of yourself, bringing value to the world, and all that stuff will attract back to you. But it can be used towards those pursuits. It can be used towards those goals. It can be used towards higher things in life. It isn't just about, oh man, I have an urge, and I'm gonna go wank off. Oh man, I have an urge, I'm gonna go have sex. That same urge can be funneled, can be used, and can be uh, transmuted to higher plants. I'm gonna use this same energy that I feel my lower energy centers, rise it up through the practices that we talk about, and then I'm gonna be in that state of consciousness where I'm using this energy to my advantage. I'm gonna use it towards my work. I'm gonna use it towards my YouTube channel. I'm gonna be using it towards my career path, my studies, all that good stuff, man. It's that powerful. If it has an amount of power to create a human being, Imagine what it can do if you actually learn how to transmute it properly. All these uh, spiritual philosophies, spiritual wisdoms, and occult knowledge is about learning the intricacies of the mind, body, and soul. Learning how to master so you can use these resources that are uh, within you towards your advantage, towards your purpose. It's about using things like prana, the breath, towards your advantage. It's by using your sexual energy towards your advantage. This is what we're trying to accomplish on semen retention. Again, it doesn't matter how many days you go on it. It doesn't matter how much semen you're retaining. It's, it matters, what are you doing with that? Because this is just step one, as we talked about before. This is just step one to the overall path, to the overall journey. If you think that, okay, man, once I get on 90 days, everything will figure itself out. I'll be attracting women, I'll be attracting money, all that good stuff. Man, you got it all the way fucked up. A lot of these other content creators out here on YouTube talking about semen retention will sell you that, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you like a goddamn dollar store. This is not the end all be all. When you use this as a tool and you're leveraging that lust and you're leveraging, leveraging that libido to your advantage, you are tapping into the wisdom of the ancients, the wisdom of some of the greatest people of human history, some of the greatest men in human history, some of the wealthiest people of all time. They use that same drive to want to go and procreate, to build up their empire, to build up whatever it is, again, that was up in here in their inner vision, to bring it out and manifest it out into the physical world. That is what they were using this sexual energy for. Not just procreation, not just being able to uh, have sensory pleasures, sensual pleasures. It isn't just about that. It isn't just about, okay, man, since I have these sexual urges, since I have these sexual thoughts, I have to act upon them. I have to release in that way because your body was designed to go to the path of least resistance. Each and every single one of us, me, you, the person next to you, your neighbor, your friends, are designed to go on the path of least resistance. That is just our biology. And when you have these sexual urges and these sexual thoughts, what's the path of the least resistance is to be able to expand it on those lower planes through releasing your seed. It gives you a little bit of dopamine, it's a temporary high, but it's very accessible, it's very easy to do. Rather than actually transmuting that energy, but the things that you do that are more difficult in life, that take longer, have a higher or longer effect they have a much more profound effect. When you go do a workout, it's difficult, it takes a long time, but you feel 100 times better than you would if you just go uh, and just eat some fast food. You might get a little temporary high, but you're gonna feel like shit afterwards. Same thing applies to here. If you just release your seed, yeah, you might feel good in those moments because all these chemicals being released in your brain, it's just a chemical reaction in your brain, but you're gonna feel like shit afterwards. But if you transmute that energy towards your purpose, towards the actual goals and pursuits you have in life. It's gonna take longer, it's gonna be more difficult to be actually be able to actually transmute that energy through the practices we discuss, but it's gonna feel 100 times better because you see yourself progressing in life. You see yourself taking the next steps towards becoming the fullest potential of what you were brought here to embody. That feels 100 times better, but it takes a lot longer to get to. And when you start delaying your gratification and start realizing these things and Letting that 
concept marinate in your mind, it's gonna click. It's gonna click at one point and you're gonna come back to this video and be like, damn man, he was right. My sexual energy is one of my greatest assets as a man. Why have I been wasting it? Why have I been uh, essentially being fooled by society to be able to waste it? Because think about that. Why would society push so much porn, so much promiscuity, so much hookup culture, so much degeneracy, sexual degeneracy, if it wasn't that much of an asset to you. They're trying to drain this out of you. They're trying to get you to the point where you don't cultivate the sexual energy, where you don't have access to it. You're just always draining it. You become a slave to the flesh. You become a slave to your lower nature. You become a slave to the animalistic side of you. Why would society want to do that? Society at the end of the day wants control. If you take this away from someone, you are taking away their own control to be able to control themselves. Let me say that again. You're taking away that ability for them to control themselves by putting all these temptations, distractions, and these things that are enticing at the moment, but will be derailing your progress down the line. It's because your sexual energy is that fucking powerful. Society knows this. You want to call it the matrix, call it the matrix. You want to call it the my, you want to call it uh, the illusion, whatever you want to do. This is an agenda that's being pushed and is going to be continue, continually pushed by society if you don't take action. And when you take action, it's going to be more difficult. You're going to be going against the grain, but you're going to slowly but surely break yourself out of that simulation that isn't within here, that's in your internal world. That simulation thinking that sex is the end all be all for men and that your sexual energy is not important and it can't be used towards other directions towards other purposes. You're trained in that way to be able to just release your seed, release your seed, release your seed, even though you're not even procreating. I mean, if you were procreating, it makes sense, it has a purpose to it, but you're just doing it for pleasure, for pleasure, for pleasure, for pleasure. Yet, why do you keep running back to the same thing? Because that real, that pleasure is temporary. It's not really even pleasure. It's just a relief. Like, I had this podcast recently with my guy, Josiah, uh, Josiah, aka Guruji Brahman, who talked about this cycle of pain and pleasure is what people are stuck in. This idea that you run to pain so you can feel that relief, that pleasure. You run towards the, uh, the idea of masturbation, porn, just releasing your seed and just depleting yourself because you want that little relief that comes with it, that temporary high. Just like how if you're sitting on a toilet and you're constipated, you don't, you're, you're, that, that relief is the end all be all, is like the, the best part of it. It isn't real pleasure, it's relief. You're relieving yourself when it comes to just releasing your seed all the time without a purpose. There's no love involved, there's no purpose involved, there's no procreation involved. It's just a relief. Oh man, I'm angry, oh man, I have urges, oh man, I have this, I have to release. And I'm telling you right now, it doesn't matter how far you get along this practice, you're gonna have urges, you're gonna have sexual thoughts. The thoughts are gonna come in both ways. I'm talking about thoughts in your mind and thoughts in the external world, the, the, the biddies, the babies, the honeys. They're gonna be there. And you can't, you can't essentially cut them all out. You can if you wanna go the brahmacharya path where you're completely eliminating lust, but for me and you, for people that live in the modern world, for the modern man that wants to leverage lust to that advantage, why would you want to eliminate it? Why would you want to completely take it out? You want to use that drive to your advantage now. You want to flip the script. You want to use, uh, use it for higher purposes rather than letting it expel and being an energy leak in your lower regions, in your lower planes of consciousness. So those sexual thoughts, those sexual urges, all those things, Flip the script. Don't think that you have to run away from them. Don't think that you have to hide away from them. Don't think that you have to eliminate them. Use them to your advantage. These are assets. When you are feeling that urge, you can use it and transmit it all throughout your body, even physically, through the breathwork practices that we talk about on the uh, ebook, on the uh, full guide, on the private Patreon community. Shout out to the private Patreon community. All that stuff, man. You can feel it physically, and it's going to shift you psychologically to be able to be in a more higher vibration state of mind because that sexual energy is cosmic energy and it can be transmuted and circulated throughout your body to make you feel like you're you're literally radiating power yes you can be radiating power and you funnel that towards your goals and guess what 
the number one benefit I've talked about on semen retention on the main channel is that that energy intensity that you approach your life with now by being able to retain your sexual energy and be able to transmute it towards higher planes will cut the time in half of whatever it is that you're trying to pursue. It amplifies and it magnifies every single thing you do. Everything you do. Your career, your content, your business, your social skills, your physical pursuits, everything you do, your spiritual growth, everything you do becomes amplified because you're bringing more intensity, bringing more force, you're bringing more energy to it. Like think about, okay, a car. I can be driving, uh, what's it called, 30 miles an hour, or I could be driving 80 miles an hour. I'm going to the same direction. Who, where, how am I gonna, which one's gonna get there faster? 80 miles, of course, because you are putting more force, more horsepower, more fuel, more intensity and energy to that, that, uh, that road or that pursuit. Same thing applies to your sexual energy and to the path of semen retention. You are accelerating that path. You are giving yourself nitric oxide. You're giving yourself jet fuel. You're giving yourself more oomph, more power. This is why it's such an asset. This is why people like Napoleon Hill that we talked about before in Think and Grow Rich talked about how people for decades and decades and decades learn how to transmute their energy, their sexual energy towards higher pursuits. It's not easy. It's not gonna be smooth and just smooth sailing for everybody. But once you get to that point, you're going to realize the words I'm saying are factual, are factorial factitions. All right, you're gonna realize that because again, you've been trained to just release, 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 release. But when you retain, transmute, you're gonna be, you're gonna, your whole mind, body, and soul will shift. You're not gonna be the same person. You're not gonna have the same pursuits. You're not gonna have the same lower energy and lower vibration. You just become more full of life because when you retain your life force energy, of course, you're gonna be more full of life itself. And this in turn is so powerful that when you tap into it, you're not gonna to wanna to go back. When you really tap into the power of semen retention, you're not gonna to wanna to go back. There's a reason why I've gone this long into the journey, almost four years now. There's no point or like enticing qualities that makes me wanna go back to my old ways. I see the power for what it is. I see it, I feel it, I experience it. I see how I'm progressing way quicker on this path than I would before. I see how I'm like leapfrogging some people around me. Even though I'm not trying to compete with other people, I'm just trying to do the best I can possibly. I can see it though. I can see how people are stalling. And I don't want my audience to be ones who stall, who are just always in this constant uh, cycle of uh, pain, relieving that pain, going back into pain, relieving that pain, not actually realizing the true pleasure and joys in life, the actual bliss that comes along with becoming a man on your mission, a man that has a purpose of becoming a divine vessel for God. And out of everything that I've done, meditation, cold showers, this, that, blah, blah, semen retention, and realizing my sexual energy is one of my greatest assets, is the most potent and has been the most impactful. This is a catalyst for all of your uh, pursuits in life, for all of your progressions and developments in life on the mental plane, on the physical plane, and the spiritual plane. This is why it's the most encompassing practice that I've come across. Meditation is more on the mental side and spiritual side. Uh, working out is on the physical side. Creating content and stuff like that is on the mental and spiritual side. Yeah, there's always something missing. There's always a key component miss missing. Maybe it's a physical that's missing. Maybe it's a mental that's missing. Maybe it's a spiritual that's missing in these practices. Semen retention brings it all together. Brings it all together and acts as a tool for you to, to uh, accelerate your progress on each different plane. The mental, the physical, and the spiritual because it's all encompassing. And for the people out there that haven't really realized that yet, man, I'm telling you, do the practices I say that I put out in the ebook, in the full guide, tap into a one-on-one -on -one call with me if you really need more help, more guidance, or uh, try to apply for personalized coaching, tap into the Patreon if you wanna get into the monthly masterminds. But 
Take all this information, plug it into your life, and watch it actually start to come together. It's going to take time, it's going to take discipline, it's going to take practice, but this is something that you're going to be thanking your, yourself later on down the line for doing. You're going to be thanking your younger self for actually putting yourself in the position to treat your uh, sexual energy as an asset rather than something that you just throw away. It's something that you just spill out your seed on a constant basis. Once you start doing that and you put it all together and it starts coming to life, it starts, uh, you start piecing up the puzzles, you're going to be looking back at yourself like, damn, man, I wish I started this earlier. I wish I started getting on these practices earlier. And it's okay. You're going to go on your own path. You're going to go on your own journey. There is a time and place for you to get all this knowledge and information. And hopefully it's today, but it's just all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. It's all part of the purpose. Don't shun yourself or be mad at yourself or be guilty of yourself for not doing it earlier. But it's better off you do it right now and you do it when you listen to this video and when you listen to this type of information than it is later on down the line where you actually are in the point where it's so hard for you to get back out of it because you've ingrained these habits as such a psychological part of your identity. It's hard to break out of it. It's hard to break out of this concept that, hey man, everybody's focused on sex. I want to be focusing my sexual energy towards becoming the best version of myself. I want to focus on self-mastery. I don't care about all these little, uh, kind of little small little pleasures in life. I'm aiming towards the highest one. I'm aiming towards the highest temple, not these small little houses on the side of the road. I'm aiming towards the mountaintop. I don't care about these um, small little, you know, things that might be enticing at the moment, but I know that they're not going to really fulfill me. I want to be truly fulfilled in life. I want to be whole in life. I want to be holy. And when you actually start applying these principles and applying this philosophy to your life, you're going to really grasp this concept that I'm trying to, trying to hammer in your head right now. That sexual energy is your greatest asset as a man. It truly is. The money will come along the way. Your muscles will be built up along the way. Your time will be used properly now and you're actually going to be saving more time since you're not be focusing on these distractions. You're going to be essentially lasering your focus on your goals. So now you are being more time manageable. You're actually being more efficient with all the uh, assets you have in life because of this idea of self-control. And if you are able to control this urge, your sexual energy, you can control every other temptation and distraction in your life. I truly do believe so. I think it's the final boss for men. Vaping, nicotine, drugs, alcohol. If you can beat lust, you can beat those. You can beat those. Those are like the, the bosses that you beat on the way up to lust. You go, you're going straight to the top. You're going to the top floor and you beat that motherfucker. And when you beat that motherfucker and you have control of it, control over those lower desires, that lower nature, because you're not trying to eliminate it, you're trying to control it. Now you're using it to your advantage. Now you're using it to essentially drive you towards where you want to go in life, not where your lower nature wants you to go, not where your um, animalistic side of you wants to go. You are in control. You're calling the shots. It's not your emotions. It's not your impulses. It's not your reactive uh, biological instincts to be able to just release your seat. Now you're in control. You're in the driver's seat. And that is a very powerful position to be as a man. Very powerful. Because with control, with self-mastery, comes freedom. You're free from these constraints of your lower self and your lower nature and animalistic mind. You're free to be able to express yourself to the highest potential. You're, able to, you're free enough to be able to realize your ultimate potential in life and actually actualize the purpose you were brought here to fulfill on the mental, physical, and spiritual planes. So hopefully you guys are picking up what I'm putting down, man, and you actually are conceptualizing and visualizing and overall taking these pieces of information and plugging into your life on how you can actually leverage lust to your advantage, leverage libido and your sexual energy to become the greatest ally and greatest asset on your road to become the best version of yourself. I truly do believe that if you take this seriously and take it 
for what it is and not letting your pre uh, conceptions, prejudgments that are ingrained and programmed into you by your older self through societal uh, influences. Don't letting that version of you say, oh man, this is all bullshit. Oh man, this is all nonsense. This guy's talking out of his ass. Take all that out of the way and be open-minded. Be open-minded to the true power of this practice when it comes to semen retention and the true uh, capabilities of your sexual energy being your greatest asset. Because it's been your boy out here in the field, in the flesh, dropping you all that game so you guys can make these games. And I'm out of here. Peace.